What's going on guys? It's October 14th around 7.30 in the morning and I just figured I would get a little bit of shopping out of the way. As you can see, the parking lot is pretty much empty. So I'm here at Target where I do some food shopping as it's a lot cheaper than a lot of other supermarkets. And then I'm actually going to head over to this place, Meat Farms, on my way home and pick up a few more things. But I love this. I like getting up early and taking care of this because there's no one around. There's no lines. No one to bother you. And just get out of the way so you can start the day. So, And the weird thing is I actually enjoy food shopping. I don't know if any of you guys like food shopping, but it's like therapy for me. I just walk up and down every aisle really slow and look for some new stuff. But I'm going to hop in there and get some food. What's going on guys? So just kind of from the grocery store, figured I would show you some of the stuff I picked up rather than make it a completely separate video. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I got. All right, so as always, picked up some protein. So 93.7 lean ground turkey as well as just some chicken breast right there. Got a few little snack things. You guys know I love my rice cakes. So these are just regular lightly salted rice cakes. So that and some Chex Mix, which I like to throw in taco salads from time to time. So we got that there. Some black bean and corn salsa so again goes good with the taco salads i mentioned this before but currently my favorite salad dressing out there the cilantro avocado it has a strong cilantro flavor so if you like that i highly recommend picking this up although their flavors are good the bolt house farms but right now this is my go-to just got some regular eggs right there greek yogurt always a staple so we have the non-fat plain greek yogurt as well as these light and fit blueberry we have some honey bunches of oats chocolatey almond crunch cereal some sugar-free pancake syrup some canned pumpkin which i'll probably be doing some sort of recipes with so this is just regular 100 percent natural pumpkin not sweetened or anything so the macros are good but eating it by itself doesn't taste that great so we'll be using that for some recipes Picked up some reduced fat cheese. We have the Mexican style and the shredded mozzarella. So we got that there. Over here, unsweetened original almond milk. So I drink that. I'm not a real big fan of milk or even skim milk for that matter. So I really like this. Any brand is fine. The Almond Breeze, the Silk, whatever's on sale, I pick up. Then we got some greens here. We just got some iceberg lettuce. Again, for the taco salads. Celery hearts. These are only a dollar each and normally they're a bit more expensive. So... We got that there. Some apples, of course, the only brand, the best brand. If you can see it, focus. They're honey crisp apples. If you've never had honey crisp apples, they are unbelievably good. So we got some apples there. Just some scallion here, a green onion. And lastly, I know it's processed, but we got some uh, boar's head barbecue chicken breast. So I like to make sandwiches when I'm you know, kind of short on time and just trying to get in a quick meal. So that's what we picked up here. And nothing too crazy, but just figured I'd show you guys. All right, so I decided to keep this sandwich simple with some of that chicken breast right there and some lettuce. And we're just gonna actually top this off. Since it's barbecue chicken breast, we're gonna hit it with some sweet baby rays. Just a little bit of this right here on the side. And that will be lunch. Have a Greek yogurt on the side, a couple rice cakes and go watch some YouTube. All right, so we got the food ready to go. We're gonna watch some YouTube videos. Like I showed you earlier, right here, we just have that sandwich that I made. We got that chicken, sweet baby rays, some lettuce on wheat bread. We have a couple of rice cakes and a Dannon's Light and Fit blueberry Greek yogurt and a Diet Brisk lemon iced tea. So just a zero calorie iced tea. Actually tastes just like the real thing if you've had this before, so that's really good. And this will be my pre-workout meal. You know, I've mentioned before that I'm not very big on eating huge meals before training, and this is something that I could digest fairly quickly and it will sit well in my stomach. So, eating this, watching some tubes, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're about to head off to the gym. Got the camera here so we can record a little bit. Pre-workout, got the backpack. Beautiful day out today. We're in the mid-70s, I believe, and here in New York, it's actually been quite cold over the last couple of weeks. We've gotten as low as... I believe like high 40s at night and sometimes low 50s in the morning, but beautiful day today. I wish it was like this every day. I'm jealous of you guys over in Cali and all the warm states, but uh, winter's coming soon. It's probably going to hit us hard, so enjoying this while I can. All right, so just a heads up before the video starts. I did not get to film too much, but I did get a few exercises, so I'll show you what's up. We are in the gym on the floor hitting some unilateral lap pulldowns. 
Now, the reason I love this exercise is not only for muscle activation, but it also works as a great accessory movement to get those lats firing. And it's not uncommon for people to have trouble feeling their lats work. So for instance, they might do a dumbbell row and they might feel their lat really hit hard on the right side, but then when they do it on the left side, they don't feel it at all. And this is common in barbell rows, lat pull down, chin ups, pull ups, hammer strength machines. Getting the lats to fire tends to be pretty difficult for a lot of people. So this exercise here, doing them unilaterally or one arm at a time, will be really beneficial. And I suggest starting with one arm at a time and then moving on to both arms, but you'll notice that it takes a lot of other muscles out of the movement. So your main focus is really just pulling through that elbow, bringing it to your side, getting a full contraction in your lats, holding it there, and then letting go. And you'll feel that muscle work and that can help you and assist you in other exercises moving forward. So after that, went ahead and grabbed some chains to hit some pull-ups. Now, I honestly don't even know how much these chains weigh, but I did it simply out of convenience. It was easier than using a dip belt or putting a dumbbell between my legs. And let's be honest, it looks a bit more badass. After that, hit some penlay rows, something that I don't do very often, but I tried barbell rows and they did not feel very comfortable on my lower back. So I figured I would just go a little bit light and work on explosiveness off the ground. So pulling from a dead stop and being as explosive as possible. And then I hit some isolateral low rows on the hammer strength machine, something that I really like. A lot of gyms don't have this machine, but you can see it allows for a complete stretch. And then I focus on pulling through my elbow and holding that contraction for one to two seconds to really hit that lat hard. And that was pretty much the majority of the back work. After that, I moved ahead and did some dumbbell curls. So I did some seated alternating dumbbell curls and then went ahead and actually used the fat grips to work on forearm strength a little bit. And not something that I do very often or that I concern myself with too much, but you know, it was fun just changing things up a little bit and hit some hammer curls. So that was pretty much the entire workout. You know, nothing too fancy was a quick in and out type workout. I'll be on a structured program soon. I'll be talking about that in a future video, but that's going to conclude this commentary here as far as the training footage goes. So thanks as always for watching guys. I appreciate it and enjoy the rest of the video. What's going on everybody? It's around 5.30 p.m. Just filled up the truck with some gas and now heading over to Brittany's house to pick her up because we're heading over to a bridal showcase at 6.30. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what that is, but essentially it's just a place where all the vendors get together and you can kind of scope some people out. So whether you're looking for a photographer, a videographer, a DJ, limos, tuxedos, all that good stuff, they're just all in one spot. And they usually give you some free food and drinks as well. So excited to go to that. We've been to a few of them before. We already have our wedding hall booked. We got our photographer and videographer booked. We already did our engagement pictures, booked our DJ. So we got a lot of stuff done already. She actually, about a week and a half or two weeks ago, picked out her wedding dress. So a lot of exciting stuff. We're getting married in a little over a year now. So next November, time's going really quick, but Essentially, we're just going today to have some fun. It's a free event to go to, so we figured we'd go check it out. We are still looking for a place for our limos, tuxedos, which they're not really, it's not a big deal. We have a few places in mind that are local, but I don't know. It's just cool to see everything in person all in one spot so you don't have to travel from place to place. So we'll be doing that. I'll try and get a little footage for you guys to show you around, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much what's going on. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go pick her up and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so like I said, I would try and get some footage for you guys and I got about a solid minute's worth. So first we just checked out a few different limos. They let us sit inside, see if we thought they were comfortable, what we liked and disliked about them. So this was a Chrysler 300, I believe they said sat eight people, but it looked a bit small. Moved on to this 24 passenger Escalade with Lamborghini doors. I would say that was probably the coolest limo that we checked out. They had a Bentley on site. This was just a car, it was not a limo. So it's more meant for the bride and groom and obviously not an entire bridal party. But it was cool to go in the Bentley. The guy told us it was about $225,000. And it was only my second time in a Bentley. My first time, believe it or not, was Tony Yeo's Bentley. And then we moved on to the party bus, which had a stripper pole, champagne glasses, and drinks on ice. So this is more meant for the entire wedding party. Fits about 30 to 40 people, I believe, depending on how big or small they are. But 
Overall, it was a cool experience. We moved on to the inside, first grabbing a glass of champagne, so cheers to everyone out there. And inside was just a florist, a couple of other vendors, and like I mentioned earlier, the free food. So you know we took full advantage of that, and that pretty much ends off this video. So thanks as always for the constant support, guys. If you're still here watching, don't forget to click that thumbs up button as that really helps the channel grow. I appreciate it as always, and until next time, we'll see you all in the next video. It's seated incline dumbbell curls, and just before failure, you stand up and start doing alternating dumbbell curls. So it's a lot easier when you're standing than when you're seated. So we're going to start out. And with these, we want to make sure we're getting a full range of motion. And a